What's up world, it's Deso here and welcome to a new Let's Play. We are playing Alan Wake. I really want to play this game and I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are also. Let's click normal difficulty. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. The fuck? Where do you go? Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. All right. Reverse your controls. Uh, no, I'll be fine. I like it like this. Full ship sprint. All right, no problem. Space to jump. Yeah. We gotta get to the lighthouse. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. What's this thing? Missing. Is that me? Looks like me. Oh shit, hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Think you're God. Ugh. You think you just make us. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Play with people's lives and kill them when <laughs> you think it adds to the drama. Ugh. Oh shit! Oh shit, what? Ah! I was too busy looking behind me. Wow, you're I died already. Story now. Let's get out of here. I didn't expect you could jump off the cliff like that. You missed your deadline! Oh, shit. Damn. You can't stop me! Come on, come on, come on. Do it again. Dodge the attack. Alright, come on. Come on, bro. Ow! Okay, that didn't dodge anything. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Well, that's just weird. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Shit. Here we go, 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 go. Oh 
way, Stuart. Ow. Stop! No! We die! No! 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 <laughs> God, the TVs. Shut up. Shut up now. Save Haven until you completely healed. Okay, so staying in the life pretty much helps you. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Speaking riddles, though, William Shakespeare. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Okay, so here, take the light. Oh, yeah, where? Oh, right here. Okay, back up. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Yes, yeah, this act shit. Burn, motherfucker, burn. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Okay. Here, take the gun. Whoa. Okay. Now you'll die. Oh yeah. What's up, bitch? Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. God, no! Help! Jesus Christ. So 
sometimes hard to control Alan. At least I'm safe in here. Alright. Just like Oh yeah, bitch get on. If you guys can't hear my mic that well, I will fix it in the next episode, but right now it's already 11 minutes in the episode. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Oh, shit. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Guess that's his wife. next to that old channel I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I don't give pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Alright. Hi. Did you hear Very pictures? nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. He's not right. My He's just a weird old man. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, <laughs> great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. 
Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Uh, Barry, leave me alone. We don't Alan, like you, Barry. Here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Which car was ours? This. Get back to the car. Is this our car? Okay. I we, we need to stop at the, the local diner one. to get the cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Nothing's gonna go wrong in 15 minutes. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> then he murders the whole entire town. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Okay, calm down. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Oh, God. That's gotta be an Try annoying. the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> then give me a goddamn coffee. Jesus. Do me a favor, sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Coconut I number six. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Whack! Whack, 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 whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Oh, shit. What are you, what are you doing, lady? What are you holding? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. <laughs> Hello? I have one new inventory in my, have new item in my inventory. Mr. Stucky? Okay. Do you go away? What the Carl hell? couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Okay, you're Thanks. not creepy at all. Okay. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah, I heard that. Alright. Leave the diner and we'll end up. You got there. lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really oh, no. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. Damn hernia. <laughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh, there's my wife. Bye, Mr. Wake. Okay. Shut up, over expiring fan. 
Mission accomplished. The key and, and the, the directions. directions. My Sweet. hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, shit. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> so we didn't get the right key? Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. What happened in your last book? And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Okay, okay. So, I think we should end the video here. We have arrived at the lake house. Wow. Diver's Isle. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's yep. something, all right. Don't worry. Oh. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. Mm. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay, so she has a fear of darkness, and uh, I doesn't. I don't think like things are gonna go well. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave any suggestions down below, and I hope you guys enjoy this let's play. I will continue it if you like it. Peace out.